Hi everybody and welcome back to Tales of Wanderlust. I'm Cass and today we're going to do another episode of Cooking in an Airstream. So if you want to know what my go-to healthy meal is, stay tuned. My go-to meal is something extremely easy. It's cheap, it's healthy, and I can have it cooked up in just under about 10 minutes is my guess. We're gonna find out for sure today. But it's very easy to do, and so after a long day of work, if I don't have one of those meals where I have all the leftovers, this is usually what I'm eating. So what it is is broccoli or asparagus. I like both of them. So it really depends. So today we're gonna do broccoli and then just grilled chicken. And all we're gonna do is season it up really simply with some lemon and some seasonings. My favorite seasoning for the chicken is actually this smoky chili rub. So I just put that on there. And if you wanna say this is my lazy way of cooking. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is warm up the pan. I'm also going to boil up some water because it has been a cold and snowy day, so I'm going to make some tea to go along with dinner. While the water and the pan are heating up, let's get the chicken ready. I cook the chicken first, and then I do the vegetables after. The vegetables do have some water in them, so once the chicken is in there, it's cooked, you'll have some stuff stuck to the bottom of the pan, as well as some really good flavor. By throwing the vegetable in after and cooking it, the water almost deglazes the pan, and then also soaks up a lot of that really good flavor. So it's a great way to get extra deliciousness into your broccoli. Since it's chicken, I am pulling out the plastic cutting board. That way I don't put raw chicken on my wood cutting board. But I am gonna cut the broccoli up first. That way I can use the same knife and have less dishes. So I end up just cutting the crowns off, and then if they're a big crown, I cut the crown in half. So I kinda get these long broccoli pieces, and that's what I end up cooking up. The rest of the broccoli we're gonna put back in this bag. This is a produce bag. You leave it wet and damp, and then you put your dark green vegetables and those kind of things in here. And it keeps them crisper for longer. It does work because I used to have a lot of moldy vegetables, and now they can last for about a week or two in my fridge. So this has been an awesome little bag that I found. I'm gonna cut off a little piece of broccoli because Jasper actually loves broccoli. So we're gonna give him a little bit. Nice some broccoli bud. And the pan is hot, so we're gonna put some olive oil in there. And let's get this chicken going. I'm gonna reseal this little bag because otherwise Napoleon will jump in there and steal all the chicken juice. I usually don't mind touching raw chicken, but again, I'm trying to save water. So if I handle the chicken, then I need to thoroughly wash and rinse my hands before I can do anything else. So by using a fork and a knife, I can cut it, get it in the pan without touching anything, and it saves water. Uh, I have a little visitor, I don't know if you can see him. But the raw chicken tends to bring out Napoleons. All right, now the chicken is good to go in. You can season it, I season it once I flip it. So I'm just going to take it, make sure the oil covers that whole pan, and get it right in there. Then I'm gonna take the smoky chili and generously season it on top. My pan is smoking, so we're gonna turn the heat down a little bit. I had it on medium heat, but we're gonna go a little bit lower than medium because we're really getting a lot of smoke in here. It only takes about a couple minutes per side. I'm also not gonna cook it fully through because I'm gonna leave the chicken in the pan when I add the broccoli. That way the chicken stays warm while the broccoli cooks. I'm also going to cover it. That way there is the moisture that stays in there. It keeps the chicken a lot more moist and it doesn't dry it out so much. All right, now we're gonna flip this guy over and then season the top side. Yum! Take a little more seasoning, put it on the top. 
All right, and while that is cooking, my water is now steaming. So this tea, I met a couple that sells this tea on the road. They live full time in an RV. It's called True Honey Teas but the tea and the honey are in one little packet. So all I do is grab a packet, throw it in my cup, add in some hot water. And that's done. So we're gonna let the tea steep over on the side here. Because of the oil and the high heat, it is actually kind of crispy on the outside. So I like that, it gives it a little of a fried flavor. And uh, it's looking pretty good on the bottom. So I'm going to push it over to the side here and then throw the broccoli in with it. Just add a little bit more olive oil over top of the broccoli. And then I'm gonna add some of the chili to them as well, but not quite as much. And then also some salt. Stir those up a little bit. Make sure they're nicely covered in that oil. Then we're gonna add some lemon and I'm gonna squirt it right on top of the chicken and then also on top of the broccoli. And you're gonna hear it sizzling. I want that sizzle and that steam in there when I cover it. Ah, rubbing my aluminum foil. But that steam is really gonna help keep that chicken moist. So we're gonna let it sit there. I'll stir the broccoli over a little bit and we should be done. Bom, 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 bom. All right, it's been a couple of minutes and I cleaned up the kitchen. So let's get this broccoli stirred. And you can see how bright green it's become. We're getting closer. I also make sure all the broccoli are flipped because, whoo, I'm gonna drop this dish. There. You can see how it's getting a little bit of a char and a darkness to it. I find that provides a really good flavor. So I wanna make sure that it gets that char on both sides. I don't know if char is really the right term for it, but it starts browning. Make sure all the broccoli is flipped, recover it, give it another couple minutes until the broccoli is not too soft, but it's softer and then we'll be good to go. Sometimes the broccoli doesn't cook quite as fast as I want it to. So the trick I have is I take the tiniest bit of water. You really can't see it because it's blinded out by the light in here but I just put that in there. And I let the steam help cook the broccoli. It's getting hot in here. This is really hard broccoli. Some broccoli, maybe it's just because my broccoli's old. Some broccoli doesn't take this long to cook. This is fresh from the grocery store yesterday. So I'm gonna add even a little bit more water and get more steam in there. Okay, we're getting there. We are good. I was a little off on timing. The broccoli itself took 10 minutes to cook. So prepare and cook time is probably 15 to 20 minutes on this meal. But when the broccoli has the nice brown color like that, and it's soft up here, and then oh, it's still a little firm in the stem, but you know, soft when you bite into it, it's done. So we are all set with the broccoli. And then look at how delicious that chicken looks. All right, let's see. It is moist. Look how juicy that looks. And the juice is left on the plate. Mm -mm -mm. So that's it. It is that easy to make a pretty healthy meal with limited ingredients. For the chicken, I buy one of those packs of about five pounds worth of chicken. And I split the chicken breast up into a portion size that feeds me. And then I put them into freezer Ziploc bags and I put them in the freezer. That way I have about 10 to 12 meals worth of chicken in my freezer. And then it's just a matter of having some sort of fresh vegetable on hand. If I'm really in a pinch, I do have a can of beans and I can use those if I don't have any fresh vegetables. But 
it's a really easy meal to do. It's healthy, so it's really my go-to when I'm feeling lazy and I don't wanna to cook too much. So I'm gonna go eat this, but if you have any questions on this recipe, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks everybody for watching.